welcome to the Ritz kitchen. This is the main kitchen. We have the Andre Meteor, the veg section, the fish section, the sauce section, and the larder, all on one side there. We're quite unique in that we have two pastry kitchens in the Ritz. And we have some 19 pastry chefs, all because of our afternoon tea and the rest of the business, of course. This is the pass area for the, the larder. We do all of the breakfast cooking in here, but also, after 12 o'clock, it changes into the um, private dining kitchen. Uh, so all of the private dining and banqueting we do from or serve from this kitchen. So everything is cooked fresh, nothing is held because we're not really a big banqueting environment. We can still do everything what, what we call a la minute. This particular area is the palm court pastry and bakery in the Ritz. We are probably the only hotel of this kind of size that is still producing all of their own goods. The only thing I do not do 100% is all of our bread. Although all the breads for the restaurant, etc., are made here, other breads and things we do buy from outside for the Palm Court, for example. We need something like 300 loaves a day. So it's not something that we take lightly. It's a disciplined kitchen because we have to be to make sure that everything is working. The thing that goes out to so many kitchens nowadays is the foundation of classic cooking. Without that, there is no cooking. And every, all young chefs should actually realize that. For me, it's so important that they learn how to make a stock. They learn what good preparation is. And that way, you can always you know, manage a situation with good organization, good planning. There's a lot of planning goes on here you know, on a weekly basis with the private dining, on a day-to-day -day basis, so you're then moving the day before, so it rolls all the time. Without that, you're not having the right things in place so that you can make great food. Any young chef, if you want a great example of how to actually start off your career, should come through a grand hotel like this. Once you've learned the foundations, and when I say the foundations, understand how to bake, understand how to poach, understand how to make a sauce, understand how to stew, all of those different techniques. When you've learned those, you can then learn a recipe. 1977, there was sort of a revolution um, within London and the menus really, really changed and started to evolve. It was only 30 years ago, we stopped actually uh, putting menus in French and that's the way it was. But the menu really evolved, the cooking was really evolving and there was a great determination to make Britain's food so much better. And what do we have 30 years later? A great city of gastronomy. 